everyone welcome back to my channel ncrt maths with bardeep today we are continuing our chapter number 8 that is introduction to trigonometry of grade 10 so today's topic is very important that is trigonometric identity so first of all what is an identity any equation is called an identity if it is true for all the values of the variable involved okay so we have done this in your previous grades also like a plus b whole square is always equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab for any value of a and b similarly an equation involving trigonometric ratios will be referred as an identity if it is true for all the values of the angle involved so there are three identities that we will use in this chapter that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is always one second is 1 plus tan square theta is always equal to secant square theta and third is 1 plus cot square theta is always cosecant square theta so these three identities you should memorize first thing is sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 i always remember in this way that if it is c then also c on right hand side one identity involves cot and cosecant second identity involves tan and secant but main thing mostly students will do mistake is they don't know on which side they will put tan and which side they will put secant they know that something involving tan and secant is there but on which side so always 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta so 1 plus cot square theta is cosecant square theta so c and c will come together so third will involve tan and secant second is always tan and cot should be associated with one and the other term will come on right hand side so these three are the identities now let's see why they are equal suppose i am considering this triangle that is abc right angled at b so angle a is angle theta so we know that if we apply pythagoras theorem So what is the formula of Pythagoras theorem that is hypotenuse square so this is ac is always equal to ab square plus bc square Sometimes in your examination they will ask you prove any one identity is given to you so let's see how to do that for first identity this is sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so we know that on right hand side there is only one term that is 1 so right hand side here we can see that in this equation this side that is left hand side is having one term and right hand side is having two term so we need that term to be equal to 1 because we need on one side only one term so this is the our target how to get one here divide our full equation with whatever is here that is ac square so we will say divide both sides by ac square okay so here it is ac square over ac square this is ab square over ac square next is bc square over ac square clear so now ac square by ac square will be cancelled so this is 1 okay so here it is ab square over ac square so using powers of exponents i can take square out so this is bc over ac whole square so now let's see what is the relationship between ab and ac So if this is theta, this will be opposite, okay, or perpendicular. This is adjacent. This is hypotenuse. This is adjacent or base. So now let's see AB that is adjacent over AC that is hypotenuse. So what is the ratio of adjacent with hypotenuse or base with hypotenuse? This is cos. Again, I can write. P B P over H H B. So base over hypotenuse is second ratio that is sine cos. So this is cos. So we can say that this is cos theta whole square. 
again BC, see BC is opposite and AC is hypotenuse. So ratio of opposite over hypotenuse or perpendicular over hypotenuse. Perpendicular over hypotenuse is sin theta. So we are done. As already explained in introduction. So cos theta whole square is written as cos square theta. And sin theta whole square can be written as sin square theta. Or we can say sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. See how easy is this. Okay, sometimes normally you should memorize these formulas or identities. But sometimes they will tell you prove this identity. Okay, so then how to prove it? If any is given, we will see how to proceed further. Here it is right hand side should have only one term as one. Out of Pythagoras theorem, I have seen that this term is or this side is having only one term. So in order to make this one, I have divided full equation with the same thing and proceed further. Okay, so now let's see the second thing that is second identity 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. Again, we will start in a similar way that using Pythagoras theorem. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So now, we need two terms on one side and one on other side that we have. But we don't know which one should be one. But I know that identity involves tan square theta. Means on whatever side we have two terms, one term should be tan theta. So according to we can find from this triangle what is tan theta. So see tan theta is sine cos tan. This is P over B. So P is BC and base is A. So this is the value of tan theta, right? So now we can check our Pythagoras theorem. So this is AB, this is BC. I need AB in denominator, okay? So if I divide my this full equation with AB, I will get BC by AB. BC is already here, AB will also come. So what is my next step that divide our equation with what? AB. So whatever is in the denominator. This is the main thing. So we will say divide both sides by what? AB square. Okay. So now this is AC square over AB square. Next is AB square over AB square, BC square over AB square. Okay, so this C AB square over AB square will be cancelled and we can have 1 on this side. So this is AC over AB, take exponent outside. This is 1, this is BC over AB whole square. Okay, so this we have already calculated that is BC over AB is tan theta. So this is 1 plus tan theta whole square. So now let's see here this is AC over AB. So what is AC? This is hypotenuse over AB. AB is base. Now let's check what is the ratio involving hypotenuse over base. So you can see hypotenuse over base. So sine cos tan Below is cot secant for secant. So this middle one is secant theta. So this is secant theta whole square. And we are done with our question that is secant theta whole square can be written as secant square theta. This is 1 plus tan square theta. So our identity is 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. So now this is your homework. You can prove the third identity that is 1 plus cos square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. Again we need cot theta. So you can find the value of cot theta first. So cot theta is this. That is base over perpendicular. So what is base? This is AB. What is perpendicular? This is BC. So now we need denominator as BC. 
So again we will divide our equation with now BC square. So follow these steps and then automatically you will reach your third identity. So this is how we will prove our trigonometric identities. This topic has very very important application. In our last exercise of this chapter we will see how to prove certain equations with the help of these identities. Now let's solve an example to make it more clear. So let's take an important example that is express ratios cos a tan a secant a in terms of sin a. So here I am taking an example in which we have to express three different trigonometric ratios in terms of sin a. Sometimes they tell us to find all trigonometric ratios in terms of one ratio. In that case what we will do is we will see that what is the identity involving this ratio. Okay whatever is given to us. So here it is sin a. So we know that. So what is the identity involving sin? This is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Here it is a. So we will write sin square a plus cos square a equals to 1. So now we will see which is to be found that is cos a tan a secant a. So out of these three cos a is already here. So find the value of this by shifting sign to other side. So this implies cos square a is 1 minus sin square a. Right. So then what is the value of cos a? So this is plus minus square root of this that is 1 minus sin square a. Since for this grade we are considering only acute angles. So we know that the values of acute angles in our first quadrant is always positive. So we will ignore our negative value. Since angle A is acute, all ratios are positive. So if all ratios are positive, we will ignore the negative value. So what is the value of cos A? So out of plus and minus, we will use only plus. This is 1 minus sin square A. So now we can see that we have found the value of cos A in terms of sin A. So next is tan A. So tan is ratio of sin by cos. So we can write tan A as sin A over cos A. But we want our answer only in terms of sin A. Sin A we already have but for denominator we have cos. So we will replace this cos with this value and we will get everything in terms of sin. So this is square root of 1 minus sin square A. Okay, so this is tan A. These are very easy. Just find the value of all the ratios in terms of one given ratio using your identity. So next is secant A. And secant A is 1 over cos A. But we need in sin A. So cos A can be replaced with this value. So secant A is 1 over square root of 1 minus sin square a. Okay. So this is how we will use our identities or we can use these identities to prove certain equations that we will solve in our last exercise. I hope this topic is also clear to you. If you like my teaching, please subscribe to my channel. This is all about this video. See you in my next video with the exercise of this chapter. Thank you.